Well, the Iranian uh, deputy commander of their Revolutionary Guard made some statements last week about their ability to confront enemy missiles. At the same time, the commander of, of the Revolutionary Guard's aerospace force publicly stated that they have contingency plans to hit 35 U.S. targets in the region within within a few minutes. And they spoke of their, between the two of them, they spoke of their innovative tactics. And if, if uh, they're threatened, they view it as an opportunity to, uh, to handle the situation. So if they, they think they uh, can hit, thir hitting 35, if they think they can hit 35 U.S. targets within minutes and it's going to offer them a victory, I'm, I'm not sure what they're actually thinking of. Maybe it's just brinksmanship. I don't. I, I find it hard to believe they believe what they're saying, but uh, that's what they said. London is having a few problems. Of course, they have the Olympics coming up at the end of the month. There have been numerous reports about uh, terrorism awareness and and uh, preparations, security preparations for the Olympics. Uh, London, uh, Britain, vetted a half a million people in preparation for. Uh, security preparations for the uh, for the Olympics. They arrested two Muslim converts last week who were in a boat in the river, not too far from the venue. A uh, witness saw the two reported it, that they looked suspicious, and uh, they're under arrest for a suspicion of uh, preparation of uh, acts of terrorism, and uh, now being investigated. Uh, same time, a week or so ago, Six other uh, Muslims were arrested in uh, London. Explosion went off in the middle of the night, and uh, of course people called the, uh, the police. Evidently these six were trying to prepare explosives. Three were brothers, one was a convert, and uh, paper said that uh, this particular attack or plan had no connection to the Olympics. So uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. They have uh, arresting people for under suspicion of uh, attacking the Olympics and, and uh, also uh, attacking general targets. France had a very uh, uh, successful uh, arrest last week. They arrested a Tunisian man, Tunisia. His name was uh, withheld. They had uh, investigated him for about a year. He had uh, because he had unusual email traffic finally arrested him. They found uh, countless, as they said, countless emails. Uh, he apparently was one of the main organizers uh, uh, between Al-Qaeda and, and other groups. Countless emails talking about uh, uh, um, weapons, funding, potential targets, recru recruiting. He had emails uh, connecting groups uh, from Al-Qaeda with groups from uh, Yemen, African countries. Pakistan, Afghanistan, Lebanon, others, and he was uh, considered, the French announced that he, he was considered a, a global a global enabler of what Al-Qaeda has uh, been doing, uh, and enabling their communications uh, between it and, uh, and these other groups.